Hello, welcome to another edition of uh, Free World Heads Up. Uh, Sanjay and I are back again to talk to you about uh, the currency situation. So, uh, Sanjay, what's been, what's been happening this week? Well, it's been a very quiet week. Uh, we've had uh, very few major figures uh, this, uh, this week. Um, the pound's kind of been moving between about 140.25 uh, and 141.50. Uh, the euro from say maybe thir- 1.1325 to maybe 1.1425 okay. uh, that's been relatively stable just this uh, uh, this week um, there's some uh, no figures so next week we do have uh, uh, we have the Bank of England meeting on Thursday okay. and we have a couple of American uh, consumption figures okay so we see more activity next week. Right. Um, we had a release of some of the minutes of the Fed meeting the previous week, mm-hmm. which showed actually quite a bit of uh, dissent about uh, the lack of a rate rise. Um, so that's a little bit bullish for the dollar. Okay. Uh, this week, maybe because of the lack of figures, uh, we've been respond- the market seems to be responding more to... Um, uh, political impetus. Yeah, we've had the, the the release of those Panama Papers this week, which has right, yeah. painted uh, the Prime Minister in a particularly good light. Yeah, and this this is the sort of uh, the picture of uh, Brexit, which is developing, which is yeah, that yeah. Uh, uh, you have the sort of uh, conservative backbenchers, older men, and uh, uh, Anything that weakens Callahan, uh, sorry, um, what's his name? Cameron. <laughs> Cameron. Uh, uh, anything that weakens him is seen as uh, Brexit positive. Right. Um, yeah. So, you know, the uh, revelations about uh, his uh, family history and involvement of his father in uh, in this business. I mean, I must admit, I think it'd be almost, it'd be very surprising if he didn't have some involvement in it, but, uh, uh, and certainly he paid for his education, but, um, uh, you know, it's seen as uh, uh, positive for Brexit on the basis that uh, the biggest schism in the, in the, in the, in the British political par- uh, parties at the moment is in the Conservative Party mm-hmm. to do with this Brexit sure, thing. of course. So if and uh, Cameron's always been kind of the poster child for stay in Europe as well. So yeah, that's right. So unfortunately, uh, you know, the lug is on him, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, that's uh, uh, pretty tragic in my point of view. He's just now uh, made the statement that yes, well, actually, maybe there was something, which is fairly indicative mm-hmm. of. Um, uh, the fact that everything was going to come out anyway. Yeah, yeah better, better admit it than uh, come uh, yeah. further down the line. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I, I just don't, because uh, I'm, of course, anti-Brexit, but um, it's being taken as Brexit positive. Yeah. So that's, that's the, the angle that's been developing this week. Uh, otherwise, there's not a lot going on. Uh-huh. Great. Well, okay. thank you for watching. Uh, we've got another market report with uh, Sanjay and Michael on cashews just to hear if, about what's going on there. Uh, so if you tune into that, um, yeah, enjoy. Thank you. Okay.